Well, <laughs> I'll tell you what. I spent the vast majority of that game between Red Star and Arsenal wondering what on earth I was going to talk to you about. It was not a great watch, was it? And then Olivia Giroud produces an outrageous piece of skill after some excellent combination play. And we've all got something to talk about, something to enjoy, and an Arsenal win. But what a goal it was. You know, Jack Wilshere, when he played in the previous uh, Europa League game, away at Barté it was, he was trying to link with Giroud in a way that was reminiscent of that that brilliant Norwich goal uh, back in 2013. And they managed to pull it off tonight. Four years to the day. Can you believe that? From Wilshere's extraordinary Norwich goal, this Giroud goal. Wilshere played his part. Uh, a lovely little faint shimmy away from three defenders. It was his pass over the top that found Walcott. I think Walcott deserves a lot of credit. You know, I think we'll all talk about Wilshire because we're excited about potentially getting him into the first team. I think he's an Arsenal man. He's a guy who generally has the fans backing, which you couldn't necessarily say for Theo. But Walcott does really well with a ball that's sort of not a, a, an easy height. It's awkward for him and he heads it back across goal. And then when it comes to Giroud, I mean, extraordinary finish. Falling backwards, reaching behind him, loops it over his own head. Brilliant overhead kick. I guess a little bit like the Scorpion goal, it's the only way he could conceivably have scored. And he pulled it off. And I'll be honest, I thought we had a poor game, <laughs> Giroud. I don't think he led the line particularly well. But he produced and we got the win. And a clean sheet, which with a back three of Rob Holding, Mohamed Elneny and Mathieu Debushi. Yes, that's right, Mathieu Debushi. Uh, we've got to be happy with that. You know, especially when you factor in the wing backs of Maitland-Niles and Willock. And then ahead of that, Cochlan, uh, sorry, Maitland-Niles and Nelson. And then ahead of that, Cochlan and Willock. This was an inexperienced makeshift Arsenal team. And for long periods... It looked like watching a pre-season friendly. Um, and much like watching a pre-season friendly, there were times where I was thinking, is this worth my time? <laughs> is this the best thing I could be doing with my evening? Um, obviously, we all do it anyway. But, uh, yeah, and, and Arsenal, we, I mean, we weren't great, but nor were Red Star. That said, Petr Cech made a couple of decent saves. We were spared by the woodwork. They probably created the clearer chances and I think having Czech there uh, in the absence of a spinner probably helped us a little bit in that regard. But look, a clean sheet, a win. No, particularly, you know, we didn't put any of the, the first choice players out there, really. Um, so we should have a fresh team going to Everton on Sunday. It was a nice palate cleanser after what happened at Watford. I think that's what the Europa League is this season. I think that's probably why we're all enjoying it a little bit, because... It allows us to forget about our deficiencies domestically and it often allows us to forget about slightly disappointing results on the road. The real test now is can we follow up this result with some points, please, <laughs> on Sunday. I mean, just the one away point so far this season at Chelsea of all places. We go to Everton. They are obviously shocking. They play tonight as well. So, you know, there should be a sort of equitable uh, level of fatigue. They'll probably play more first team players than we did. But they've been in dire straits, but kuman has got a good record against us. We cannot lose there. We have to turn them over. They are not very good. They've got the slowest team I've ever seen. The most narrow team I've seen in years. Please, Arsenal. Please, let's have... Uh... First of all, thanks for the win, those who played tonight. Now, all get back on the bench. Let's have the proper first team out there. And let's have a positive result on Sunday. Congratulations, Giroud. I mean, in years to come, the Pushkas Award will be renamed in your honour because the amount of brilliant goals you're scoring is becoming absurd, despite not even playing very well. Funny, eh? A scorer of great goals, but not a great player? 